What's up guys, my name is Joe and in today's video, why is no one talking about this? Why is no one talking about this amazing feature in the new Mac OS Catalina that can bring iCloud on par with Google Drive? It's a small but amazing feature that I've been waiting and wanting for a long time. And now it's finally here. If you wanna know all about it, then stay tuned to this video. If you want to learn how to make videos just like this one, there's a few things you'll need. You have to learn how to set up your lighting. Skillshare has a class for that. If you want to learn how to edit your audio, there's a class for that. You'll have to learn how to edit the video. Skillshare has a class for that too. If there's anything you want to learn, there's a pretty big chance that Skillshare has a class for that. In fact, that is what I've been doing. I recently started a course on Photoshop and within hours I learned things I would have never imagined before. Check out the link in the description below or download the app on your iOS or Android device and start learning while on the go. Join millions of members in the community to learn cutting edge skills, network with peers and discover new opportunities. All right, guys, so Mac OS 10.15 is here. Mac OS Catalina, the, it will be officially launched in September or October sometime in fall, but we already have the beta versions and also now the public beta versions. And in this operating system, there's a new thing with iCloud, a very useful thing with iCloud, a very annoying thing that they had, and now they fixed in this version, which is you can manually choose which files you want to download in your system. So here we have the desktop of mine. And if you check out, you go over to the documents, let's say it's documents in the, the drive or the iCloud drive. And now you can actually choose manually which files you want to store on, locally on your computer and which files should be up in your iCloud drive. This previously was not the case. Previously, Mac OS thought about it itself and did whatever it wanted to do and you couldn't really control it. Now it's a very simple, you go into, let's say, um, my Apple Pie folder, which are videos over here. And you see the little cloud icon next to some of the files, some of the video files, but not on these three. Now, if you want them to go up to the cloud, all you need to do is a right click or double, um, or, you know, double finger tap and you can say remove download. Once you say remove download, it immediately takes it off your local storage and keeps it in the cloud. Now, obviously first when you put it into this folder, it will upload everything to the cloud. So it's gonna go against your storage. So you better have big storage plans if you wanna upload a lot of files, but it's amazing. I've been wanting to do this for a long time because I couldn't use iCloud so efficiently because just because of this. And I had to use Google Drive and choose the files I want on my computer and choose the files I don't want on my computer. But the problem with Google Drive is if you have files that you don't want on your computer, they're not gonna be in your file system. With this, they're actually in your file system so you can see what's in that folder. It's just not locally stored on your computer, which is freaking amazing and I'm so happy about this because I can have everything here on my desktop. I can see all my file systems. I can search with the smart search uh, or whatever you search with, Alfred maybe, and it will find it, but you will have to download it if you want to use it. So if I wanna just uh, use this uh, video, then until it downloads, I won't be able to play it, but once it downloads, it'll be you know locally on my computer and boom, done, perfect. Now, I really don't understand why people are not talking about this. I think this is an amazing feature. If you wanna upload a whole folder to the cloud, all you, just, all you have to do is just right click on the folder, remove download, and everything in that folder will be uploaded or removed from local storage immediately. I think they did a lot of fine tuning in Mac OS Catalina. I really like it so far. What I've been using is the beta two or the, the first beta. This is another public beta and uh, it's pretty smooth. I really wanna see more improvements uh, with some fine tuning on it. I wanna see more stability and more um, tuning in terms of my Final Cut Pro performance because they said that the computer will be able to um, run more smooth under heavy loads thanks to metal. I wanna see this. So what do you guys think? Did you download macOS uh, Catalina? Are you liking it? Are you using iCloud Drive more because of this? Was this the first time you heard about it? Are you a Google Drive user? Are you actually using iOS 13 at all? Are you Apple fans? 
hit me down in the comment sections below. Don't forget, there's an iPhone XS giveaway on this channel. There's also another giveaway for a small Apple Watch charger, and there will be more giveaways. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, check out my other videos, leave a comment there too, and you're done. Good. Thank you very much for watching, and until my next video, stay safe and hang loose.